Come here. Let me love you. Come on. Let me love you. She's like, did you bring any beer? <laughs> no, baby. I did not bring any beer for you. Maybe tomorrow. Come on, bring it on over. I know you. Yep, there it is. Okay. She's like, I don't want my head scratched. I want my booty itched. Okay. Good morning, Beth. Come on, say it. I know, baby. I know. Well, as you can see, Voodoo spent the night with Beverly. And she gave me the same morning call that she always gives me. I got the good morning, Bev. Bray, which is welcoming. Hi, sweetie. How are you feeling? Now, Beverly is used to a routine that um, Voodoo's not. <laughs> So this is going to be interesting. I see that Lester has already opened up the gate to let them know, like, hey, you can go explore today. But uh, Voodoo's like, are we leaving this way? Sorry, bub. Sorry, bub. Come here. Let me show you around. Hi, Bev. You want to show Voodoo how to get out? Uh-oh. The nemesis of Ivy. Oh, baby, you got goopy in your eye. You were crying, huh? Me too. Me too. How are you feeling? Yeah? Want me to spray you for flies today? The thing you hate the most? You gonna take Voodoo out and show him the woods? She's like, I'd rather go take him and show him over there. Beverly spent a few hours out and about last night, obviously. And then when feed time happened, Lester let her in the big pasture with everybody, which was great. Until Ivy came along, Ivy started to be mean, and then Bucky started to be mean, and we just thought it was best, it was best to grow this relationship here. Yeah. I know you got a fly. Why don't you let me spray you? Beverly hates being sprayed for flies. Um, we just thought it would be best to grow this relationship here. And we had already started over the past couple weeks for Voodoo to be integrated over here. And um, you got hair in your eyes, baby. You're a wreck today. And, uh, well, we're going to let this continue over here. I, Voodoo is not thrilled. Voodoo doesn't understand. It's like, well, I have the big pasture. That's what I do. I have a routine. And horses are very routine driven. Uh, Dixie taught me that. Hi, babe. You need fly spray, too. And you're sweaty already. You're sweaty already. Good morning. He's like, I don't know about this good morning stuff. But Dixie and Beverly used to get Dixie's morning pills with cereal. So Beverly's like, hey, there's good stuff in the morning. You might want to hang out. I wasn't going to continue the cereal for breakfast thing here. I wasn't. Maybe you can. Maybe that would make it funner. Dad's word, funner? Yeah? Okay. Well, I'm going to go get some flies ready to start. And then I want to walk you all out. We'll show Voodoo around, okay? Voodoo, you want to be shown around? Yeah? You think that might be good? I think it might be good. Yeah, it's over there. You know about it already? Okay. All right, let me start with fly spray, okay? Be right back. Some routines. Some routines are meant to be kept. And as far as Beverly's concerned, we're gonna keep up with the cereal for breakfast. And Voodoo just hit the lottery with having a little breakfast snack. He doesn't even know it yet. He doesn't even know it. Okay, so we have a little dominance thing that we're gonna fix. Beverly is our friend. Okay, and she gets to eat too. Um, pause. Hey, you'll get some. You don't have to be so hungry over here, okay? My bad. I'm just better at eating it directly out of the cup versus my hand. All right, let's save some for voodoo. 
Hey, buddy. All right. You have a dirty nose. How'd that happen? Okay. Now it's fly spray time. All right. Everybody ready? All right. Well, all the plans that I thought I had decided to go a different path. I walked back, got the fly spray, got everybody good and sprayed down, and Lester came out and said, I want you to think about what you're saying. Because right now, <laughs> Voodoo was not happy that he had to be over in the small pasture with goats and <clears throat> ostriches, <laughs> all of the ostriches. And the real reason that we had brought Beverly over there was because of Dixie, not because of Beverly. And I got to thinking about it's true. So he said, why don't we put him over in the big pasture and watch and see what happens. And I started to have a little moment because Ivy's mean, okay? Ivy, <laughs> Ivy was the meanest of all of them. And then Bucky sides with her and I just thought it would have been really great to keep Voodoo and Beverly together to build that bond for a little bit longer, but well, say it, Bev. Say it out loud. We decided to let them out into the yard first and see how things would go. And both of them ran directly to the gate. And how can you say no? So while it wasn't my original vision and it wasn't at my pace it didn't really matter about my pace and i was reminded that horses are creatures of habit and that voodoo has had a routine and a habit and my soft spot for beverly around the fact of like worrying about her routine i just needed to make a new routine with her so they spent the afternoon together, and as you can see, she's one of them. That's kind of a big deal to me. Nobody's, the only ones that are fighting are the ones that always fight, so that's great news. But uh, it's time for fly spray again. So I knew that if they saw me walk up, they would all walk away. So I thought I would pause back here and it's not saying that we can't take Bev and anybody else and put them on the other side for a while if they need a break from each other, but I do think it's important that um, Beverly have the opportunity to go back to the big pasture. Because it's true. The biggest reason that she ever got pulled off was because Dixie needed a dry lot and couldn't handle all of the open open roads we'll just call it do i'm gonna spray you okay thank you for being so wonderful and letting me get your back legs real good and you're behind now he's fabulous at the spray he knows what this means he can relax and not stress so much he's second best right here i'm gonna switch hands Don't leave. We got a horse fly something terrible right now. Once I get, oh no, oh no, don't break. No, no, that's try. No, we need that. What in the hell is going on in there? Okay, I'm just gonna pour it on my hands and wipe it on your face because we got major flies on your face. This is who isn't gonna let me spray him. That's right. Hi, Bevy. How you feeling, baby? Oh. You feeling okay? You look sleepy. You got a lot of exercise today, huh? Nobody naps like Dixie napped. <laughs> That's okay. It's good for you. 
We don't need any fly spray, I don't think. You look pretty good, all things considered. Now Bev will let me spray her, but only a couple, and then she's got to run and got to remind everybody that she's still a donkey. Hi, baby. Come here. Let me love you. Come on. Let me love you. She's like, did you bring any beer? <laughs> no, baby. I did not bring any beer for you. Maybe tomorrow. Come on, bring it on over. I know you. Yep, there it is. Okay. She's like, I don't want my head scratched. I want my booty itched. Okay. I love you. I love you so much. <laughs> I'll go get the brush, okay? Is that alright with you? Okay. No beer, though, okay? No beer. <laughs> I'm pleased to say that she's doing pretty well. Lord knows she's still down for a booty scratch. <laughs> Our little Bev's going to be okay. Well, thank you for butting all the way up so I don't have to reach in. No reaching too far. Bev, we got to get all this brushed off of you. You know that, right? She's like, yeah, that's great. I really did have clean hands. I did. All right. <laughs> this looks weird. We're going to stop now. <laughs> Thanks for letting me love you. <laughs>